Hey, what's going on, everyone? My name is Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube, and we have another video for you today. It is, what day is it, Thursday? Yeah. It's <laughs> Thursday. It's been a long week. I'm still tired from the whole Great Wolf Lodge adventure, but it is Thursday, and it's actually very close to the time we have to go get the kids. So we're going to pull some stuff that sold for us today, which actually was quite a bit. And then a really good day. <laughs> I'm going to have to go get the kids. Yeah. We spent a lot of this morning doing stuff downstairs yeah, nothing up it's here hard to do <laughs> so. it's hard to work around the house like just even like you know we're, yeah. we're trying to like, we put a dresser on curbler and stuff but <laughs> yeah things like that like doing it while the kids are here because they just want to be where you are it just doesn't work out so yeah but then that's a go air work day but it's okay <laughs> anyhow Still managed to get trying to balance it all <laughs> that's the that's the hard part yeah i was like if we don't get this all done what we need to downstairs it's not gonna happen till like next fall so right trying to do both all right umbro cleats uh i purchased these for 650 sold them on mercari for 22 plus shipping and luckily yeah your sales have still been yeah very and decent up listing 22 i think items last night while chris was at his friend's yeah boys were asleep so um, and then I think so 22 of, it was 22 of these which oh, we obviously haven't put away yet <laughs> yeah. but that means I still have at least 15 more probably to do right which we might do on the live tonight I'm not sure right but yeah so I still have stuff to list today too so I should keep my moment momentum going with sales hopefully <laughs> <laughs> don't want to jinx myself uh, this is the last one of these I had I think around 30 to begin with Sold several to viewers um, around only making a six seven dollar profit but I also sold several in the thirty to forty dollar range so this last one sold for thirty five ninety five but free shipping on Kitizen um, I purchased it for ten the shipping was six fifteen so I'm still profiting about fifteen dollars off of that wow very nice yeah so that was definitely a good little haul and I should mention we do have oh, yeah. some viewer stuff to open Finally up. Finally went to the well, Chris did <laughs> yeah. went to the PO box while I was doing some organizing downstairs. So we'll open that stuff up later in this video if you want to stay tuned for that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, some tea rat sandals. Bought these actually a while back. Um, they took a long time to sell. Because I bought them for so much, I bought them for $14.99. I priced them a little bit high, and these don't cost that much to begin with. I was just hoping someone either global shipping that couldn't get them where they were, or someone that just really liked this color pattern would pay the retail price for them. But finally ended up selling them for $34 plus shipping, so I'm probably about doubling my money. Um, they were new at tag, just no box, obviously. Yeah. So. Those remind me of Ninja Turtles. Yeah, <laughs> I thought they were cool. So yeah, it took a while, but they did finally sell. Let's do a shoebox on that. That's a UPS, so I'll need to find something. Not oh, UP yeah, USPS. Or something, and this just goes in a poly. Poly. DD. Some Sketchers. Actually. I know I sold these, so I'll just grab them while I'm down here. <laughs> Always love selling something before I got a chance to cross post it. Yeah. Uh, these sketchers, though, sold on eBay. Most of these sales are from eBay. I think there was like two kids in and one Mercari, so. Yeah. yeah. Like, normally, it's just, like, there was like 12 or 13 sales on eBay in this last day, which is crazy to me. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know if I've ever had that many in one day. I don't know. Hopefully that keeps up, but <laughs> I won't hold my breath. Uh, anyways, bought these for $9.99, sold for $31.96 plus shipping on eBay. And those are going in a shoe box. Um, box R, an Adidas shirt. Wait. Don't want to step on the Reese guy. <laughs> oh, you don't have to move. <laughs> Me. Uh, this Adidas crop top, I purchased retail arbitrage for $10, sold for $23.96 plus ship on eBay. And that's going to go out in a poly mailer. All right, box of G. These are the pants we were joking around about last week on our live. The outdoor research, they're like a cropped 
pant. I didn't know. Oh, yeah, the so capri. So they're men's pant, but I didn't know if, like, men consider, uh, like, a cropped pant a capri or just cropped or if it had a special name. So mm -hmm. I don't know if we ever actually figured out. It's just a long below-the-knee yeah, short. I think I called them a cropped or capri pant. But, yeah, <laughs> they sold in a week. So yeah. Time for twenty seven ninety six plus ship. Outdoor Research is a great brand. These would have sold for more, but they had a couple, like, um, pulls in the material. They otherwise probably would have sold around $35, so. And I only paid $3 for them, so really good sale there. Colin Miller. Okay, CB. Yeah. Got some dance go teal sandals. These I almost didn't buy because they're such a small size. I think they're a 36, which is like a five and a half women's. But I felt like the color was going to do good for uh, spring, summer, and it, it did. We bought those in Utah, so they've been listed about a month. They actually sold a few weeks ago, but the buyer right away wanted to cancel, saying she looked at the size incorrectly. So mm. anyways, they've had a lot of interest on all platforms, and they did sell fairly quickly for, I think, for that size. So I'd pick them up again. Oh, I didn't say how much. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, $23.96 plus shipping, so not huge right. money, but I bought them for $7.99. Okay, BM. If it seems like we're rushing, it's because our kids get out of school in a few minutes. Yeah, yeah we are rushing. But. but yeah, so we'll, like when we mentioned the package, we'll, yeah. here Chris will go get them, come back, and then finish off. Yeah. Anything we didn't finish. Uh, these Under Armour pants, size 5X, new attack. Bought at a thrift for $10.99, sold for $27.96 plus shipping. Yeah, we had a bit of an issue with eBay labels just before yeah, we started recording. Weird. Like, I normally don't do the bulk printing, which I know people think is the best. Yeah. Maybe it is. I just like to do one by one and bookkeep while I do it, mm -hmm. which I know I can do with that as well. Um, and I actually ended up doing it that way. I don't know. I just don't like bulk. That's like the easiest way to make a mistake in my opinion. Mm -hmm. um, but it was it was showing that the labels were going to be printed on a, like a full set, like two labels. Yeah, it wasn't like printing to like the normal diagonal size. Yeah, it was like a half sheet size. So we figured, we actually didn't figure it out. You accidentally pressed print and it printed right. it right. We were printing one label by pressing print and then it printed all 12. Yeah. So it was weird, but yeah. Yeah. After know. spending like 20 <laughs> minutes trying to yeah, figure so out how to change it. That's another reason we're kind of rushing <laughs> right now. Um, yeah. I did sell these Echo sandals for $39.96 plus ship, and I had $4.99 into those. So yeah, a lot of these are smaller sales. Some of them are good. That was like a really good one. But I think this is almost $300 in profit in 24 hours, so I, I was very happy with that. Yeah, that's a very Not good day. every day, obviously. Right. Um, I try to... Well, I... This needs a pad of flat rate. Oh, <laughs> we got some in the you closet. Know, my goal was 100K. I've already come to terms with it's not going to happen this year. Mm -hmm. um, so, like, my other goal is like 200 net per day net profit. Yeah. 200 a day and, is kind of like what we. I don't hit it every day, but then some days, like today, I hit well over it, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I'm a little below it for the whole month right mm -hmm. now, but maybe in the last couple of days, I'll hit it. Yeah. So we're still doing good. Considering I haven't listed what I should be, I feel good about what I'm doing. Right. Uh, these are a pair of LLB and men's pants, bought for five sixty-five, sold for twenty-three ninety-six plus shipping. Okay, those are going in a fatted flat rate too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Boxy Q. This was a really good sale. These also sold the other day, and I are canceled right away after buying them, paying for them, and then saying, oh, they're not new, <laughs> which was very, very clear that they were not new, but these are the New Balance 990s, so mm -hmm. one of the higher selling price New Balances right now, bought for $12.99, sold for $87.96 plus shipping. Very nice. Not bad. Ended up selling Global Ship, right? Yeah, yeah so I'm actually really glad about that because there should be no issues. Yeah. Because I feel like that guy that said that was not the first one to have an issue with those, right? Um, well, yesterday someone messaged asking someone different than who ended up buying them, and I never wrote oh, to right. the message. They just said, is there any damages, which I showed pictures. There wasn't, like, damages, but they're There's, used. They mm -hmm. have, they look used. Some There's wear. a spot yeah. that shows, like, a 
specific wear thing. Um, I, I had like 10 photos in the listing, you know? Right. Plus my description. So I didn't feel the need to answer and I didn't. <laughs> then I woke up to them sold and worried. It was the person who asked the question that I ignored and I was like, great, he's going to have an <laughs> issue. But it wasn't. And it was global shipping. So I was like, yes, because nothing yeah. ever really goes wrong with global shipping, at least for me. Yeah. Yet. So. And I, I've distracted you. You haven't said yeah, anything so about those. These are those. just a pair of men's keen sandals. Typical Keens, bought for $10.99, sold for $37 plus ship. These are about one pound, 12 ounces. So to put in a shoe box would have cost a three pound rate. And so I only want, I'm just gonna bubble wrap them and put them in like a, a large poly. Yeah. So, to keep them under two pounds. Our own kind of bubble mailer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and then these SAS shoes just listed last night for I have a 20% off sale running. That could be what's going good in my eBay because, mm -hmm. like, normally my eBay sales come from me sending an offer out. Mm -hmm. um, most of these just came from them buying it outright, which I think might be because I already priced pretty reasonably on eBay. Like, I priced within, I think, 10 or so percent of what I think it should sell for. So with 20% off, it's probably better than, like, the, a good price. Yeah. So I might try this more often. I don't know. I mean, yes, I'm making a tiny little bit less per item, but look how much I sold. But are you really? Because I, I feel like normally you'd have like a 12 or 13 percent sale and then they'd offer you something lower than that. Right. Yeah. And then you'd usually take it. So you're probably maybe making more. making the same or more. Yeah, yeah. maybe a little bit a less, but I feel like it's about the same. I haven't been having to go in and send offers myself as much right. either. So which is kind of more because you're saving yourself that yeah. time of doing all that. So. So, yeah. Maybe keep going around 20%. <laughs> I'm still doing like two days at a time and yeah. it, letting it end for like a day, doing it again. So these SAS though, bought for $7.99, sold for $39.96 first day that they were listed. Mm -hmm. I listed them at 50, but with the 20% off about 40. Um, but yeah, these are basically brand new. I didn't know what to list them at. You know, there were some sold in the 20, some in the like 50. So yeah. I'm happy with eight into 40. Yeah. Those are gonna go in a padded flat rate. All right, AC, Travis Matthew polo shirt. Bought for $3.99, sold for $18.01 plus ship on eBay. That'll go on a poly mailer. And lastly, a B. What are you doing down there, meatball? <laughs> pair of men's L.L. Bean khaki shorts, like a hiking short, bought for $3.99, sold for $23.16 plus ship. So, yeah, lots of bread and butter, yeah. but it all added up to a good, really good day. Very good day. So I think you want to pack these up. I'll go get the kids. Yeah. yeah. So we'll do that. Kathy will pack it up. I'll go pick up the kids and then we'll get back together, check back in and we have some stuff to open up. So we'll be right back. All right, guys, look at that beautiful stack of packages. We got a beautiful puppy. Where? <laughs> he had a pup cup today. <laughs> Puppuccino boy. Man. And yeah, we got some packages to open. Yeah, this this package came from Debbie. Debbie has uh, sent us a package before. She's a huge supporter of the channel. And I was gonna say I might not need the knife, but I think I might need the knife. I'm not good with one. It's a very dull knife oh too, gosh. so please be careful. I'm, not, I'm gonna hurt myself. <laughs> she uses it like to it's dig going rocks. Like backwards, look. I don't use this tool to do the rocks. I use this little swirly one to do the rocks. Uh, uh, <laughs> the wine bottle opener. Yeah. There you go, just rip it off. <laughs> right. Aw, that looks like some stuff for family, for the boys. They will love this. Oh, yeah. So this is Air from Debbie pens. Russo. <laughs> oh, oh. Hey, Chris is going to You got me, <laughs> I'm going to keep these and not give any to Chris. <laughs> oh. Aw, we see some treats. Uh. Did we say your favorite is Kit Kats and Reese's? Cause not Kit Kats, but... She must know. I mean, <laughs> I'm not that hard Literally, to Literally, like, those are his two favorite candies. <laughs> um, treats for Reese's. For the boys. Cool Pez dispensers. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, man. This should be fun. <laughs> 
Do you want me to open it real quick? <laughs> it's like Christmas morning, you know. Oh, some candles. Some candles. Time to shine. Candles. Happy anniversary. Love you both. Aww. Thank you, Debbie. Debbie, thank you. <laughs> Those are cute. Oh, they got little... Time to shine. Pour some glitter on it. Nice. Debbie, that's very thoughtful of you. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you, Debbie. For the anniversary gift. <laughs> I don't know if it's... I don't know. I never know if I should, like, read stuff. I know, like, <laughs> right. they buy me a copies and stuff. Right. I read their messages. Debbie, <laughs> what in the world? Oh, my gosh. I... <laughs> Debbie sent some stuff inside this card, too. But I want to read the card before. But, like, I don't know if I should read it on here. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what it says yet. Debbie, thank you so much. <laughs> so, Debbie, yeah. thank you yeah. so much. Thank you so much. That was very kind. Very kind. Very thoughtful of you, Debbie. Thank you so much. The boys are home. You want to get... Tell them to come up? Yeah. Connor, Sally, come here. Where are you? Upstairs. Ow. Oh. <laughs> you all right? All right, so we called the boys up, and we had an injury on the way up. I was kind of in the way to, like, walk up and down the stairs. So yeah. one of them accidentally bonked the other on the head. So if he looks like he was crying a little, it's because he was. But yeah. I, I slipped on the stairs, oh, and then my hip hit my oh, side. Oh, you hit your hip? And I kicked it. You know how Mommy and Daddy, like, put videos on YouTube every day? Well, one of the people that watches them sent us a whole box of goodies, and they yeah, sent these for you guys. This, this over Dad, here. Dad, you better not eat. <laughs> That's for Daddy. But <laughs> well, look, she you sent say? you that. Yay! Awesome. Thank you so much, Debbie. Okay, you guys say thank you, Debbie? <laughs> thank you, Debbie. <laughs> She's so shy. He's too shy. <laughs> thank you so much. Debbie, thank you so much. You can have them. Yeah, take it down. Take it downstairs. You can have them. <laughs> Love you, boys. These wrappers are hard to open. Well... It'll be a fun game. <laughs> Can you open it? Yeah. All right, we got them all loaded up with candy. <laughs> Debbie, thank you so much for being so thoughtful. We do greatly appreciate all those gifts. Thank you so much. Thanks for all the viewer support today, guys. We do appreciate all that. We do have to cut it. We have to get the stuff to the post office. It's about five minutes until it closes, and we live about three minutes away. So, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.